Looking at your market trends, um, which is another area that you specialise in, um, you mentioned when we were off camera, what what do you see the market doing in the next? I think if I asked you the next year, I think that that would probably do us an injustice here. We've got we've got somebody who knows a lot of information about a lot of property and um, and the the trends over the years going right back. So what what do you see happening in the marketplace in the next say let's say three to five years? Um, I would recommend to everyone to buy a book by Neil Munnery, "As Safe as Houses." Yeah. Um, and that looks at uh, property trends in the UK um, over the last 100 years, but it also looks at the Heron Gash in Amsterdam going back 300 years um, you know, and various other countries around the world. And what you tend to find that real value of property only tends to go up by about 1% or so in real terms, so inflation adjusted terms, but we're so overvalued in this country. Now, there are different markets. So prime central London at the moment, there are parts of the market where there's a shortage and the Americans are coming over because they don't like what's happening in America and the uh, dollar's strong. So there are parts of the market you know, which are active and good prices being achieved. And so there's very difficult to say, you know, specifically, if you're talking nationally, you, you look at the house price to earnings ratio, it is it, uh, close to or depending which metric you use at highs. Uh, if you look at the debt burden we face as a country, um, then you're probably talking a real term uh, price fall of about 50, 60%. Yeah. And people say, well, you, James, you just, just, I said, look, if you've got inflation running at 10% a year and house prices stay static, then it's only going to take you know four years for you to drop 50, 60%. And they just go, what? And I said, it's inflation compounding away. And that's the thing. 99% of people don't think in relative terms. They don't think in inflation adjusted terms. They think in nominal terms. So if you look at the Bank of England, and you know, I've given talks and done research on this, at the start of this year, they told the banks and building societies to extend and pretend not to uh, do the repossessions that we saw in the early 90s. Because if they did the repossessions, the bank, 70% of banks lending is against the property. The banks would need bailing out again. The government doesn't want to bail out the banks again. So consequently, they want a long, slow, gradual decline. And if you get you know, price falls of 2 3 4% a year, but inflation is running at 5 6% a year, then you know, it's only 5 6 years and you know, we'll be down 50 60 percent yeah in real terms but we might only see a nominal drop of you know 10 20 percent yeah makes sense yeah excellent do you um 